so I am back. I still need to upload the other video. I forgot to, or not video, podcast. I forgot to upload that. <laughs> it's been like literally like three, four months. But uh, I'll upload that. So just for context, it is now December. Or no, not December. It's November. Wait a minute, I'm trolling. Okay, it's November. Full pause, full pause. Again. But I guess when it uploads, it'll be December. That's why I was thinking in the back of my head. But that's not what I was going to talk about. This is a solo podcast because screw them. Anyway, what was I going to talk about? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I was listening to a podcast blah, 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 about, like, how animals have these, like, you know, language, this, this, that. Like, you know, they always say that animals aren't as sentient as us humans. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. But then it turns out that even, say, something like a bird has, like, certain dialects and they somehow teach because there is, like, some type of tribe or something where they would communicate with birds. Like, they would do, like, a certain bird call and then the birds would find honey. And then when they found the honey, they would give a treat to the bird. So they started, like, that, that passed down through generations. So now, even in the modern day, if you do this certain bird call in this certain area, these birds will lead you to honey. And then, you know, you give them a treat or whatever. So that means that they're, you know, teaching their young or somehow that's passing through genetically or something. Blah, 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 blah. Everyone knows about the whales. You know, typical whales have their own language, apparently. Certain weeks or whistles. So they're saying, like, okay, it's possible that using R, R, large language models, blah, 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 you know, typical buzzwords. They're like, it's possible in the future. We could translate what the whales are saying. And, you know, it'd be interesting because, you know, these are completely different creatures communicating with each other in some way. And, you know, chances are that they're, you know, you would hope at least, that they're not just talking about what they're going to eat today. Maybe the whales have some, some more uh, complicated, like, you know, conversations amongst each other. And what's even crazier, what if they have stories? And what's even crazier, what if they have history? Like, what if there's, like, a certain history that they pass down that other uh, animals know about? Or, you know, that, well, I mean, like, that we don't know about. Like, you know, there's some stuff that we pass down and get lost in translation. But if the whales freaking say, oh, yeah, there was this big flood years ago, and, uh, yeah, it was kind of crazy. And there was this big, and there was this huge boat. We were following it for a while. You'd be like, whoa, okay. These stories are unironically, like, 100% real. Because even the freaking whales are telling this story. But, yeah, so then... You have to start wondering, like, okay, these are some interesting things that we could learn from other animals. Like, you know, if the other animals actually communicate, we just don't understand their form of communication because we did evolve in the same way as them. Like, maybe, I think I, I don't know if I said this before or not, but like, for example, like, what if, you know, certain animals, they communicate more with body movement. Like, let's just say fish. You know, fish can't talk. You can't talk in the freaking water. Or maybe, let's just assume you can't talk because the way fish evolved. So maybe... They freaking communicate more through movement or something like, you know, certain tail movements or whatever will tell them like, okay, move this way. Don't go that way. Something, something, something where it's hard for us to comprehend because we evolved off of a completely different evolutionary path or same, even something similar to like apes or something where apes, you know, uh, like for us, we talk with our tongues and mouth and whatever, and we're making movements like that. Meanwhile, I mean, I don't know, but let's just say apes make a bunch of grunts. But for them, they evolve where their ears can tell the different pitches or enunciations of their grunts where, you know, they can tell a whole freaking language. And then you can expand that, like, because technically we all evolved off the same original thing. Like, we evolved off the same basic bacteria or whatever, the freaking one-celled whatever. So there is going to be a generality between all of us because we all evolved from technically the same thing. Like, say another animal or another freaking species or something from a completely different uh, planet. Like, they probably, they could have evolved from a completely different bacteria or something. You know, like, let's just say, I don't know. Because I'm not some biologics or whatever, biologic, bi 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 biologist. <laughs> but it's like, let's just say we evolved from plankton. And we have, like, certain very, very subtle plankton like things like let's just say plankton is happens to be a very uh social bacteria or something and that's why uh, all of our animals end up being fairly social even if it's during the youth or you know during old age there is a social construct to it but then let's just say i don't know some alien from some other planet it 
freaking evolve some crazy other bacteria where that bacteria might be a little completely more isolated in its stuff. So it just happens to be that they are not social at all, actually, or something. Or let's just say that something else. I, I don't want to say too much because these are from big brain ideas, you know, that's going to take like me writing down the ideas for me to like actually explain it well. I'm actually just talking right off the right off the whim or whatever. But what I was saying is what I'm wondering, this was the whole point of this whole podcast, actually. What I'm wondering is let's just assume that we were able to communicate with whales. Like, you know, blah, 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 blah. We successfully did it. And we're like, dang, we're communicating back and forth, back and forth with them. Could you technically give sentience to another and like we already know animals are sentient but they're not as sentient as we are sentient at least we assume like you know we're smarter but because now we're we're communicating with amongst each other can you like you know breathe in intelligence or greater intelligence to a well like let's just say now we're teaching the well freaking addition and subtraction like it's still gonna take a while but they're like, dang, we've never even thought of adding stuff before because they never needed it. They only have flippers or whatever. So they never even thought of like counting because what can they count? Count Like there's no point of it. Or they eat krill. You know, they eat millions and millions of krill. So there's no point in like keeping track of like the actual numbers or maybe they just, you know, focus on like patterns. Like, okay, how many people are behind me who are part of my tribe or part of my pact or whatever? Where are my children? Like they don't, they're not really thinking in numbers. They're thinking in like, okay, here's this one. There's the, that one. But they're not really thinking of like addition, subtraction, multiplication, some crazy stuff. So it's like, if we were able to communicate with them. Okay, I'm back again. From what I remember. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's been kind of a couple months. It's been like freaking, it's, it's literally January, mid-January. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, let me check right now. Yeah, it's freaking January 14th right now. So, yeah, so it's been a while. I mean, I've uploaded finally that second half of that one podcast, and now I'm like, okay, let me finish this one. I think I have another podcast that I started, but didn't finish, maybe? I don't know. Oh, no, there, there was like a drama podcast. I'll add that, too, because screw them. I mean, I do talk to them now, but still screw them for that. But still, yeah, but yeah. So I think from what I remember, because I tried re-listening to it, but that was like four or five days ago when I re-listened to where I left off. I think I was talking about the whales or something. Where I was like, yeah, so if you can, you know, let's say you're translating, you're teaching whales addition and stuff, let's say multiplication, now they're thinking in different ways. You kind of breathe in almost intelligence, like a different way of thinking into this whale. So now, ironically, the whales start thinking like you, like you, you taught them how to think. You, you, and then now they are became sentient almost. And it brings me, I mean, this is basically the end of the podcast almost, but it brings me to this idea. If you can breathe in sentience to a whale, let's, let's say it is possible that you breathe in this kind of, this state of mind into a whale because you taught it, you know, something that it would never have learned on its own without like outside help, outside translation. It makes you wonder could the same thing have happened to humans? Like, let's just say, you know, the typical religious thing where there was this thing, I mean, I guess it's, le I don't know if there's a Christian equivalent of it, but there's definitely the equivalent of it in older religions, which you would argue, I know they don't want to hear this, but you would argue that those are more likely to be kind of the historical, like, story of humanity. Like because the older religions always have like this, like say the Greek or Roman thing where there's like Pandora's box, you gave humans like this thought, or not Pandora's box, is it fire or something or whatever, like where this outside force gave humanity, well, oh, the Garden of Eden is an example, like where this outside force gave humanity this like greater sense of self, this thought process, or like, you know, where it's like this one God or person gave humanity like this thought process like they gave it knowledge and because of this knowledge it pisses off all the other gods because you know you weren't supposed to give humans this this thought process that you weren't supposed to give them this knowledge and now you can't take it back you can't give it back because you know you gave it to them and now humans know too much or whatever and it makes me wonder 
like in that way, like similar to the whale, makes you wonder in that same way, what if it were like this, it's like a misconstrued idea of like maybe an alien or it could be a god or whatever, where us humans were the whales. We were the whales at some point where we are just like, you know, these creatures that are just kind of existing. We're not really thinking about, you know, higher level thought. We're not really thinking about math. We're not really thinking about philosophy. We're not really thinking about art. We're just, exi well, maybe we're thinking about art. Maybe we are drawing stuff. Because we found, no, no, who knows? Maybe we're not even thinking about art. Maybe we were no different than the monkey or the whales or the apes or whatever. We're, we just weren't thinking in that way. And then something, some outside factor gave us a fire. I mean, not literally fire, but like gave us some type of thought process. Like rather they taught us math or taught us language or whatever. Because of, you know, my theory was that language is kind of a universal thing. Like maybe the whales are talking in some way, but they just don't, aren't thinking fully in a mathematical mindset. But still, maybe something taught us something. And because of that, we kind of evolved and started thinking more. And then of course, let's just say, an alien or something that seems like a god to us was able to translate our grunts, our hello, this is blah, 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 blah. Because we were just grunting, saying whatever words that make sense to us, but maybe not to an outside, outside force. So they were able to translate it, and then not only translate it, but they were able to, this guy's like riding a bike with la like these freaking speakers playing anime music. What the heck? But because they were able to translate and then speak speak to us, they were able to teach us stuff. And because they were able to teach us stuff, maybe they were able to teach us math or teach us some type of thing that gave us the idea to learn more, like it awakened something in us. So after all this rambling, because I kind of forgot what my point was due to, you know, always being interrupted due to people kind of existing around me because I'm in like a, the, the most dense freaking city in the world, practically, I think it's number three or something because there's like India and some Filipino city that is more dense. But still, I think my main point is my wonder is if we are able to translate the thought processes of a freaking whale and then like, you know, we're, we're able to translate what they say and speak to them, like retranslate what we're saying to their language, would we be able to make a whale sentient? Like in our definition of sentient, would we be able to like, and then once we make one sentient, it would be interesting because now they would become more of a integral part of our society because let's say the whales are freaking talking to us now <laughs> well now they're part of our society rather we like it or not these whales have become like they, let's just say they might start building structures they might start you know interacting having war with us war with the boats or something start having like a communication it's gonna be weird but it'd be interesting because that'll be the first time like ironically Let's say they never reveal the aliens that apparently are like around us, apparently. I don't know how true it is, but they never contacted me yet. Maybe they will at some point, but they haven't contacted So, if no aliens, let's just say aliens never existed, this was all just one big bait, you know, some type of military propaganda to make you know, the, their technology, they can say, no, 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 it wasn't us, it was freaking aliens, don't, don't start researching. But if it is indeed there aren't any aliens that have contacted us, our first existence of like having some other form of intelligence beyond ourselves, because even though I have a theory, I might make a podcast of it one day, that there are different forms of sentience between the human, but you know, we're still fairly similar, even though there's different forms of sentience. But we'll have something that's almost full alien to us. Like, I'm sure, like, a whale is fairly more is similar in the way of thinking to us because, you know, we're, we're, we could all evolve from the same thing. And, you know, their, their brain is probably very, very similar. Like, you know, it has the same ridges, it has the same whatever. So, you know, it's probably a loosely similar thing or construct to us. But 
they will be thinking in a different way. Like, let's just say whales just happen to have a larger, I don't know, larger complex of brain for music because they, they happen to, like, I don't know, whistle more with, with, with their little squeaks or whatever. So maybe they're making music we never even thought of, where it's just beautiful. It's just the most beautiful sounding music ever. It's just because their brain is more tuned to that. And we're just like, wow, everything, like literally even the, 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 the most normal of whales is making a beautiful melody. But yeah, that's about it. That's basically my wonder. Be our first type of like, interaction with something that isn't us. Well, real, like, like conversational interaction. But yeah, that's about it. I don't have really much to say. It's just a bunch of rambling. We're saying the same thing over and over and over again. The next podcast will probably be more interesting or like more in tune, like more one topic the entire time. But yeah, that's it.